hoopla here at the Hoop and Toy. And Mr. Sam Furness. Here's a cheer if you like TV. Yes. Why the fuck are you here? There is no TV here. I'm loving TV at the moment. I'm loving TV. I love the adverts on TV. You know, the adverts. There's um, there's lots of fantastic. There's, there's an advert a few years ago for a Monsters of Rock CD. At Christmas, it was fantastic. Like, Monsters of Rock, featuring ACDC, Back in Black, Led Zeppelin, da 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 Avril Lavigne! <laughs> no. No. no! There's also uh, a Max Factor. I don't know uh, if any of you ladies have this makeup. Or men. It's, it's a modern world. Um, <laughs> Max Factor do 18-hour makeup. I was thinking, who would need 18 Has anyone got 18-hour makeup here? Yeah, you know, I was thinking, the only people that would need 18-hour makeup is prostitutes working double shifts. <laughs> and there's also a face scrub, it's mainly for teenage boys, I think. This face scrub, uh, on the advert, it goes, you wouldn't wash your teeth without a brush. Why treat your skin any differently? It's a fucking different material. That's why you treat it differently. That's like saying, you wouldn't have sex without an erection. Why treat shopping any differently? <laughs> And to be fair, I don't know why you should treat shopping any differently at all. I mean, you can carry an extra bag. <laughs> Tony Tinman. Uh, I said I wasn't going to drink tonight. I, uh, I was very, very drunk last night, genuinely. Uh, I was uh, hammered. Uh, I spent 20 minutes trying to get in the house with my fucking Oyster card. <laughs> How pissed do you have to be? Right? And I just, genuinely, I couldn't work it out. I just couldn't, I was fucking like at the door, beep, beep, I wasn't beeping. Like, I, was, I was doing it. I couldn't work it out, right? And then this morning, I woke up, put all the pieces of the jigsaw together. No fucking money on it. <laughs> <laughs> From Miss Patty Brewster. <laughs> you know when um, you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about? You know when, um, You've targeted a potential friendship candidate. <laughs> and um, you go all wavy and big face smiley. Like... <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, they act like you're the weird one. Have you ever had that? <laughs> they, um, they stop hanging out with you and they don't let their pets wear anything you've made them. <laughs> wonderful Mr. Tess Ilias. I love doing this comedy thing. It's, um... I've been doing it over a year now, and but when I first started doing it, I didn't, I didn't tell the folks back home, uh, back home being Lancashire, God's country, <laughs> and, um, and I didn't tell the folks, I didn't tell any of my friends as well, any of my close friends back, at, back in Blackburn, but I thought, you know, I'm, I'm doing quite well, I, I want to take it more, I want to take it as a career, so I thought I'd better, better come out of the proverbial comedy closet, so I went home a couple of weeks ago, went up to different members of my family, and just got, just got wildly different reactions, right, so I went, I went up to my mum, mum, <coughs> Sorry, mate, I don't quite know why, I've, uh, why I'm looking at you and I started talking about my mum then. <laughs> Sorry, because my mum's not white or bald, so I don't know why I, where that came from. Sorry, well, I mean, she's not, you know, she, she's not white. <laughs> so, so I went up to my mum and I said, Mum, I've started doing stand-up comedy. Eh? <laughs> oh, it's a dear nice. <laughs> you know... You know, son, both, both of your three cousins are doctor, lawyer, and teacher. And you want to be bloody clown? <laughs> please, please promise me, son, okay? No, no culture jokes, okay? No, no religion jokes, okay? Actually, son, no jokes. No jokes. Okay. Good luck. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, South Kensington, um, my mum doesn't actually have an accent. Um, I just like to show that I've got range. Be because, like, you never know when the producer for Spooks might be in the audience. And it becomes, it becomes less a gig and more of an audition. But knowing my looks tonight, knowing my looks tonight, I probably got the uh, probably got the producers for missing my murders in. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leisure and please welcome stage the wonderful Clant Essential. Is it true, Cochrane, that you come from a violent the father? Say please, no. <laughs> but don't you want to I don't talk want to get no. But no, it's not you... right. 
Okay. Should. Yes. <laughs> My father was a very violent man. I could tell you some stories. Well, I'll share one. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I used to like Top of the Pops. I was watching on the telly and my dad didn't like that. He liked the sports. One day he came home from work, maybe he'd had a couple of drinks. I don't know, or a stressful day, it doesn't matter really. I was watching, I think Culture Club it was, on the telly. And my dad came in and he said, get that puffter off the telly. 